The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Those ominous bagpipes, just a warning of the destruction yet to come. Drew McIntyre traveled the globe, picking fights on every stop along the way. That world-class training has made him a true threat here in WWE. I agree with you there, Corey. Drew has put his best foot forward here and picked up some big wins. McIntyre was born for in-ring competition. There is no limit to his potential. The Almighty! One of the most impressive athletes ever to step foot in a WWE ring. A successful mixed martial artist. Lashley is finally back where he belongs in WWE. Well, to that point, Corey, this is a man of Bobby Lashley who spent 10 years away from WWE. But he came back because he felt like he had unfinished business. He felt like he had more he wanted to accomplish. And so far, Bobby Lashley is on his track to do just that. Introducing the challenger from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. And introducing the champion from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, the Almighty. Bobby Lashley! The big gold belt up for grabs here tonight. champion is ready to defend his ground. I don't think I see any of doubt in the champion. He absolutely believes he's leaving tonight with his title, Byron. Well, it would be hard to argue with him, Michael. I could tell by the way he entered the arena today that he was in a different kind of zone. The type of zone that only champions go to. Freakish strength of Drew McIntyre. Kick to the gut and out. Oh, brutal forearm. He 
These competitors are walking on dangerous ground right now. One, two, Boom. Two. bang right in the face. Close line, so effective. Oh, stomping away. Bringing it back into the ring. Kick to the gut and oh, brutal forearm. Oh, what a kick. He skirts away, living to fight another day. I don't know what he has planned out here, but he must be mindful of the referee's count. Tried for it early. I don't think I've seen a superstar more driven to succeed than Drew McIntyre. When he was released in 2014, McIntyre said he'd be back, and that's exactly what happened. Oh, McIntyre really took a negative and turned it into a positive. Instead of feeling sorry for himself and blaming everybody else, he traveled the globe and made himself an even bigger star. Kick to the gut and oh, brutal forearm. Throw. Oh, lit, lit, elbow, elbows off the chest. The impact. Can you guys believe the power? A well-aimed strike. Drew McIntyre can't be enjoying this. Look at this. Snap suplex. And what a reversal from Drew McIntyre. Following up on what you two were saying about McIntyre's initial release, not only did he return with more fire and fans, he also came back in even better shape than before. Yeah, McIntyre's always had a height advantage, but in his time away, he worked on his strength, conditioning, and added considerable power to his Claymore kick and Aftershock DDT. The championship hanging in the balance. Tough situation to be in right here. Oh, right to the face. Crashing down the hard way. The champion into the cover. It's going to take more than that to keep him down. McIntyre still in this. Oh, check out this power. This is ridiculous. Dominance. Power slam. Cover by the champ. One, two. And he kicks out again. He's got some more fight in him, guys. He's in trouble. What does Lashley have in store? Oh, elevated. Now that is why they're the champ. Drew McIntyre really... Lashley wins and keeps the title around his waist. The task was a mighty one, but look here. This is how you contain a Scottish psychopath. victory. And at this point, I think it's safe to wonder if the champ will ever lose the gold. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. We're about to find out exactly why she is the EST. Cole Byron's like the EST of the commentary team. The worst? The dumbest. The ugliest. Hey, that, those are dumb examples. Watch what you say. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best. Just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. Well, you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned all SEC and all American honors in track and field at the University of Tennessee. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. You got eyes, Byron, you understand. A freak in the weight room, a beast in the ring. Bianca Belair could do it all. And she's got a lethal hair whip. It's boss time! Here comes Sasha! Corey, say what you want about Sasha. There's no doubt she's been involved in some of the most historic moments in history. I completely agree with you. It's undeniable. Sasha Banks has made a great deal of history here in WWE. Competed in the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match. Multiple time Raw Women's Champion. Banks is looking for yet another back to stab tonight. My sources say she's going to do it to the referee. Your sources are wrong. Introducing the challenger from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. And introducing the champion from Boston, Massachusetts, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Sasha Banks. This is for the Women's Championship, sold out here. Everyone standing in anticipation to see who truly is the best superstar in the women's division. The women's title is up for grabs. There's been women's titles defended at the WWE as early. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? She's a warrior, guys. Right Ooh. across the face. Oh, look. We're about to see it. Look at this. Snap suplex. Oh, no, this isn't going to end well. Oh, oh, my God. Surfboard leg breaker. Set up for the side Russian leg sweep. Boom! Just a merciless kick across the back from the boss. Ooh, nice back rotation suplex. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Sasha Banks commanding respect right now. Uh-oh, gentlemen. It is turning into boss time. Great technical prowess from Bianca Belair. One of the greatest matches I ever had the honor of calling was a takeover Brooklyn between Sasha Banks and Bayley. A rare occasion where one match changed our industry. Uh-oh. 
dropped right on their face. Guys, you both had the privilege of calling Sasha Banks against Bailey at the first takeover Brooklyn. What were the emotions like in the Barclays Center that night? Oh, Michael, it was transcending. I mean, two women putting on a match of the year was a moment that brought tears of joy to much of the WWE. Covered by the champ! And Bianca Belair with a quick kick out. Clearly not enough damage done. Look at this. Boom, nice. Whoa, not so fast. Nice side headlock applied. Oh, oh Ooh, and a right hand for good measure. A bad place to be for the challenger. She may have underestimated the opposition she faced tonight. Watch out! But he pulled off the champion into the cover! And Bianca Belair with a quick kick out. Too soon. Oh, she turns it around. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Oh, that was just malicious. Vicious knee. Oh, you are in trouble now. This is not going to end well for Sasha Banks. Boom! Ooh. Down across God. the knee. She is ready for a fight tonight. Sasha Banks avoids major damage there. She got lucky. Bankrupt for the win to retain the championship. And the shoulders up in time. Not yet. Crusher. A slap. What's up? Buddy Bulldog. Not sure how much more Bianca Belair can take. Yeah, this could be the end of the road for her. What a forearm. And no luck against Bianca Belair there. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Oh, my God. Salt. You see that height. One, and another kick out. It's going to take more than that to keep her down. Look out. Here we go. Another big move. And climbing 450. We can have a new champion. Sasha Banks is in a bad way now. The boss Dude. looks terrible at the moment. Whoa, that was close. Boss, oh, straight forearm. Wow, oh, what a strike to the back. The champ getting worked over here. She's tough, but maybe not tough enough to get the win here. Boss time may be over soon if Sasha continues to suffer. Finally. In trouble, in the grasp. This is not where the boss wanted to be. Yeah, nope. Amazingly, she works her way free. Cole, there may be no beating her here tonight. Great technical prowess from Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair is making a statement. Dictating the pace of the match now. Sasha Banks being overwhelmed here. Oh. Neckbreaker. And there 
there's the reversal from Sasha Banks. Not what she was looking for. Sasha Banks avoids major damage there. She got lucky. Here's the pin, title on the line. One, two, three. Sasha Banks wins and keeps the title. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. there's anybody in the back that can actually unseat this dominant champion. I'd like to think we just saw one of the greatest title matches in a very long time. champion is more prestigious than some of the most important titles in our industry? I seem to remember a time when you loved Daniel Bryan Saxon. What changed? Huh? Actually, I already know the answer. You, like so many others, are fickle. Do better. Yeah. Introducing the champion from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, 
He is the WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns! Remember guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. And we've seen the champ deliver in the clutch before, but tonight might just be as critical a scenario as he's ever experienced. But like you said, Cole, he seems to shine in high-pressure situations. And when it comes to his title reign, this is about as high-pressure as I think it's gotten for the champ. Winning the Universal title makes you the guy in WWE. The top title of WWE's flagship brand. The Universal title is on the line right now. Lesnar, Goldberg, Reigns, Rollins. Some big names have made this title prestigious in short order, gentlemen. Oh, my God. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Watch out. Roman Reigns is on the attack now. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Hooked up. Back suplex. Nice right hand. Oh, targeting the stomach. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Wow. Edge just timed that perfectly. Dragon scream changer. Down with the vertical suplex. And nobody ever said Edge doesn't put on a show out there. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. He's not in a good spot here, guys. Nice amateur takedown. Suplex. Flying elbow by Daniel Bryan. Oh, it could be nap time. Boom, what a forearm. Daniel Bryan locks in the cravat. Ow! Oh, into the suplex. Daniel Bryan offering some American and Japanese flavor right here. Daniel Bryan is starting to turn it up now. Just producing an onslaught. And Bryan showing so much creativity. That's why Bryan is one of the best. Oh, nice. Roman Reigns just too fast for him. All the way over. Wow, Edge just timed that perfectly. Snap suplex, very effective. That's absolute power with the vertical suplex. There is so much on the line in this one. And like they say. Oh, it could be nap time. And he breaks the hold. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. 
the hell? Holy. Backdrop suplex. Look at the power by Reigns. Perhaps he's thinking the ring can't contain what he has in mind here. The champ loses the title here. Oh, Daniel Bryan! And now Daniel Bryan could be closing in. Oh, Daniel Bryan! The heel hooks in. This will tear your knee apart. Edge, the rated R superstar, close to losing this match. I don't think close is any question about it. Edge is about to top out. Well, you've got champion Daniel Bryan was flat out hungrier tonight. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. say that was an impressive win that wasn't just a win that was a win over what many consider the most dominant champions in all of wwe congratulations soak it up after that i can't wait for the next time we have an opportunity to call a triple threat match The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Apollo Crews is ready for action. Speed, power, agility. It's been said that Apollo has all the tools to be a big star in WWE. And Byron, you're just a tool. Apollo has been in some amazing matches. And how many of those amazing matches did he win? I think Cruz has the talent, but he just falls short when it counts. Uh, I don't really agree with that, but I think tonight is the night we see Cruz finally put it together. I'm doing my best not to look at those dance moves. Big E does have an unconventional approach to an in-ring celebration, but the crowd is loving it. It's because it's so hypnotizing. Get it? Hips? You can't look away from those hips. I would rather be anywhere than here right now. I think I'm... Yep, I just threw up a little.
Introducing the challenger from Stone Mountain, Georgia, weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo Crews! And introducing the champion from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Big E! Who's gonna lay claim to the workhorse title here tonight? WWE Intercontinental title on the line. Perhaps a new chapter will be written in this championship's long history. For over 40 years, the WWE's best have competed for this title. Winning the Intercontinental title has been a major milestone in some Hall of Fame careers, and it could be just that again here tonight. Nice. Straight punch. Bang right in the face. Oh, jeez. Oh, Take all the wind out of you. Smash. Oh, look at the power. Look at this. My goodness, this is how you establish control. Are you kidding me? Oh, night long. Apollo Crews being pressed hard here. The challenger eating up some damage. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Thinking there by Apollo Crews. Whoa, it's another reversal. Just endless knee strikes. For the win to retain the championship. Oh, oh, kick out from Apollo Crews. Yeah, he's not done yet. When you look at Apollo Crews, you're looking at someone who has a shredded physique and incredible power combined with amazing ability to fly. Apollo Crews is one of the most versatile competitors I've ever seen. by the leg drop. If I was Big E, I'd concentrate more on winning the match than playing to the crowd. Oh, from the rope! Cruz is really starting to fade now. Things are not looking good for him right now. Oh man, Apollo Cruz is in trouble. Apollo Crews amazes. Cover by the champ. And Apollo Crews powers out. Apollo is a high flyer, but he is awfully strong, too. Not showing much fight here. Yeah, he looks absolutely out of it, Cole. Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. Dominance. On the move. Oh. Oh, oh. Incredible elevation. Here's the pin title on the line. One, two, three. Big E is overjoyed to remain champion. Oh. This is why Big E puts the power in power of positivity. this one and there's your winner folks after witnessing what we just saw
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. The Celtic Warrior has arrived. A pint and a fight is a good Seamus night. Seamus will cave your chest in with the beats of the Bowron or knock your head clean off with a brogue kick. Seamus is only one of two men to win Money in the Bank, King of the Ring, and the Royal Rumble. A cool persona and a respected mixed martial arts background. Matt Riddle is here to fight. Riddle's the owner of one of the fastest victories in NXT history at six seconds. All that bro stuff drives me up the wall. But come on, bro. See, it's fun to say. All right, never say bro again, Cole. I'm begging you. As I was saying, I can do without all the bro stuff. But once he gets in the ring and those ridiculous flip-flops come off, Riddle is one of the most brutal, intense, merciless superstars around. Introducing the challenger from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Seamus! And introducing the champion from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion! Matt Riddle! This is all for the highly decorated United States Championship. Harley Race, the inaugural champion, truly a tough man's title. This is all for the right to call yourself the United States Champion. To put yourself in the echelon of John Cena, Ricky Steamboat, Steve Austin, some of the greats of all time. Over 40 plus years of history for the United States Championship and a new chapter is written tonight. Ouch. Landing! Forearm right across the back of the neck. Oh, saw it coming. Look out! That's one way to show your opponent you need business. All right, here's my problem with Matt Riddle's whole original bro thing. 
I truly don't understand how Matt Riddle can have that kind of attitude in a competitive environment like WWE. He's swimming with sharks. He should at least put some shoes on. All the way over. And Sheamus slips out of harm's way. Are you not entertained? Corey, you talk about Riddle's attitude and how he's swimming with the sharks in WWE, but you fail to acknowledge that's when it's go time. He smells blood in the water, too. He's like a shark in bro's clothing. <laughs> Get it? I can't believe I'm saying this, but sharks don't wear clothes, Saxton. To the outside, which will start the referee's count. Lightning fast reflexes. Back now inside the ring. Look out here. Oh, what a slam. What power. What dominance. Oh, it's luck. And he makes it to the ropes. Did you really doubt that he would? Come on, Cole. The hit's adding up a little on the channel. It's nothing he hasn't been through before. Setting him up. Oh, I need him yes. That's going to hurt. The Celtic Warrior first displayed his awesome power during the revival of ECW. Just months into his takeover of the Land of Extreme, Sheamus set his sights on Monday Night Raw. Bang right in the face. Boom. <laughs> KO punch. Jeez. Take all the wind out of you. Had it scouted. When you brought up how Sheamus came into WWE, Byron, it reminded me of playing the action during his debut match. That night, the world witnessed a new brand of barbarity. How's this for dominance? Sheamus captured his first WWE Championship within two months of coming to Monday Night Raw. Is it enough? How in the world? A quick reversal by Sheamus. Ooh, jarring European uppercut. Oh, and a knee. Hit another. Kicks directly to the chest. Sheamus shows us some clever offense here. Sheamus losing that fiery temper. No need to maintain that aggression. Oh, right to the throat. The champ teetering on the edge. Yeah, I don't even think he knows where he is. Sheamus having a good time. And look at from a back suplex. Three. And Sheamus reverses it. Four. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Raw Women's Championship. The one woman wrecking ball is ready to roll. She has all the potential in the world. One of the most powerful women in all of WWE set a new standard of brutality in her match against Tony Storm at NXT UK Takeover Blackpool. She became the first ever NXT UK Women's Champion. What about you, Byron? What do you think the challenger has to do to be successful here tonight? She's definitely impressed in the weeks leading up to this match. If she can replicate those types of performances, she has a real chance of walking out of here as the winner. of tomorrow, Asuka. but Asuka just has this aura that endears her to the whole WWE Universe while also terrifying her competition. I know this might be a foreign concept to you, Saxton, but it's called charisma, and Asuka's got it in space. But it's not just that, Corey. Asuka truly brings it in the ring in a way that just R and charisma can't do. No matter who she faces in the ring, even with the loss of her undefeated streak, she's always the favorite. I certainly wouldn't bet against Asuka tonight, or any night, to be perfectly honest. Introducing the challenger, Rhea Ripley. And introducing the champion from Osaka, Japan, the Raw Women's Champion. This is for the Women's Championship, sold out here. Everyone standing in anticipation to see who truly is the best superstar in the women's division. The women's title is up for grabs. There's been women's titles defended in the WWE as early as the very first WrestleMania in 1985. But the competition has become even more heated over the last three years as the women's revolution took WWE by storm. Enough already. Dropkick hits the mark. Asuka turns it around. Cover by the champ. Not sure what made her think now was a good time for a pin attempt. Bang. Wow. That won't separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Something that doesn't get recognized enough with Asuka is that every week gets more difficult because she's getting everybody's best shot. Everybody's trying to create a career-defining moment. They all want to be the one that adds a loss to a stellar record. Boom! 
what a forearm. She's running to the buzzsaw that is Asuka. She continues to press forward. Ooh! The challenger's looking shaken. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Ooh-wee! She returns the favor there. Guillotine. Nice job getting to the ropes. She really had no choice, Cole. It was either get to the ropes or tap. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. Elbow smash! That's a good way to make your presence felt. <laughs> Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Oh, wow. Recognizing the mindset of Asuka's opponents, as you were, Byron. I need to ask, how long can Asuka be on the roll she's on? With a level of competition in WWE, it has to be inevitable that more women will etch their name in the win column. Listen, the only place any names are going to be etched is the long list of women who have already fallen to Asuka. The challenger is not in a great place. She's not rising to the occasion right now. Blow. Ooh, that kick. Just ruthless. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? And again, she refuses to stay down. Not yet. Some will say it's all over once Asuka's war mask came off. a well-earned victory if I've ever seen one. It's successful defenses like this that make the champion such a feared competitor. Thanks for tuning in for this championship match and what an amazing match it was.